for coming. Um, my name is Candy. Um, I'm going to talk about um, the importance of organ donation. Um, but first, please um, turn off your electronic devices, close your laptops, and um, um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the statistics of organ do donation and how when you look at the numbers they can be really deceiving. Some people think we have a lot of people on our organ donation list when in actual reality we really don't. Um, what organs can be donated, um, some common questions, and um, how to become an organ donor. Um, what would you do if uh, you found out today that um, you or someone that uh, you loved, the only way that you can save their life is with an organ transplant? Um, first thing you would end up doing is going on to a national uh, transplant waiting list. Currently, there are 112,407 people on that list ahead of you. Um, that is according to the United uh, Network for Organ Sharing, um, which is a private nonprofit organization that manages our um, national transplant uh, list. Um, they are contracted with the federal government. Um, those numbers. Um, seem very, very high. Um, if you think about it, and they changed. I checked this last night, and um, it, had, it had jumped drastically. During this class period, well, approximately every 11 minutes, someone is added to the list. Um, during this class period, five people are going to be added to the list that need organ transplants to save their lives. Um, just today alone, 130 people will be added. Um, it, the numbers go down and change constantly, but um, on average, 75 transplants are being performed every day. Um, the statistics that, that I found, um, from January to July, 8,132 organ donors died somehow and became uh, available for the organ donation. That allowed 16,416 transplants to be um, performed. But when you look at the numbers, 2.5 million deaths annually in the US, that's not very many transplants, actually. Um, right now, our registry has 86 million people in the registry. But that's still, I mean, it sounds like a huge number, but it's just the right person and something has to happen to them. And <laughs> um, but if you're not uh, a donor, um, it's not going to change the numbers. Um, on average, 20 people die every day just waiting um, for the organs that don't ever become available. Did you know that um, by being an organ or tissue donor, um, you can save as many as eight lives um, when you agree to become a donor? Um, the the uh, organs that you can um, donate are kidneys, heart, liver, pancreas, lungs, and intestines. And if you're a tissue donor, donor um, the corneas, bone, uh, your bone marrow, blood vessels, heart valve, tendons, ligaments, and skin um, can also be um, donated. <coughs> but knowing all this, some people still hesitate um, because they don't know. And actually, when I was doing the research on here, I you know, found out stuff that I always wondered. I'm, I'm an or organ donor myself. Um, I have been since I got my very first driver's license but um, I didn't actually know. Um, can you still have a normal funeral? Open casket is what you know, most people consider, consider normal. 
Um, yes, you can. Um, most organ donations don't uh, um, alter the outward appearance of the body, so no one's ever going to know, you know, unless you tell them, um, or unless your family tells them. <laughs> um, will uh, there be any uh, cost to uh, your family? And no, um, the the donor family or the hospital where where you would um, die. Um, there aren't any uh, costs to them. Um, it's all covered by the transplant center, the recipient's insurance, and um, sometimes even the federal government. Um, if you sign up, um, say you're you know, 16 years old and you sign up to be a, I think nobody's 16 in here anymore, but um, if you choose to be a donor, you can change your mind later on in life if you choose to. You have to do is contact the state registry where you signed up and um, uh, let them know that you changed your mind. And then it's always important to talk about your decision with your family. That's probably one of the most important things that you can do if your family does not know your decision. Um, they may not choose to uh, make that final decision for you after you've passed on. Steps to becoming a donor. It's quite easy. Um, all of you, I'm sure, are aware that you can do it when you get a driver's license. Um, they give you the paperwork right there. Um, and you can also do it by going online. It's easy to do. Just Google it and it comes right up. But again, the most important thing is to talk with your family and let them know. Um, it's also important, it, um, especially if you are at doctors for you know, various reasons all the time, discuss it with them, let them know what your intentions are. Um, and then if you do have um, the advanced directives, wills, or, or living wills, it's always a good idea to put it in there too. Um, knowing all of this, um, basically the decision is yours. And this little guy right here, he's pretty thankful that somebody decided to be a longer donor. Are there any questions? What is the most common organ donated? Um, I believe it's kidneys. Kidneys, yeah. kidneys and the liver are, are right at the top of the list. When you like get your driver's license and you say you're a donor, is that all you have to do to sign up? That is all you have to do. Yeah. But like I said, it's it's a very good idea to let your family know because they're the ones that ultimately make that decision after you've passed on. And if they don't know that that's what you wanted to do, um, they may have reservations about doing it. Yes. How long after death? What's the longest amount of time that they can harvest your organs? Um, I'm not exactly. I guess I'm not exactly certain. It seems like I remember reading something about um, within the first 24 hours is they keep you on life support. Basically, you have to be declared brain dead. Um, and there's a there's a process that um, that this um, uh, United Network of Organized Organ Sharing they have a <coughs> whole big long deal you know big, basically a checklist that they have to go through before. Any other questions? Thank you.